Hey guys, it's Tom here with MYT Solar. Just finished up this install on the 28 RKS behind me, Glacier Peak fifth wheel from Outdoors RV. It's 97 degrees, I think, at the moment. Bear with me if I slur my words a little bit. Pretty big system, 1600 watts of rich solar on the roof and 824 amp hours of SOK batteries in the front bay here. I'll show you around. Here we have the four SOKs. They're 206 amp hours each, fit nicely in this bay over this side here. All the Victron stuff in the Blue Sea system, MPPT 250-100, Lynx distributor, Smart Shunt, all the good stuff here, Serbo for the touch screen inside. 824 amp hours is a big amount of battery for this customer. They'll run their air conditioner from this and you know they, they'll probably get about six to eight air conditioners runtime hours. Again, bear with me if I slur my words which is pretty good, that's assuming, assuming no charge. But with 1600 watts, they'll also be getting plenty of solar coming in to help, help with that air conditioner. They just wanted to keep it in the front bay here. They keep this area for storage. We moved this uh, valve connector over a little bit. They gained a little extra storage over here. The MultiPlus, MultiPlus 2, 2120, seems to 50 amp rig. Fits nicely in the bay here. Put a little floor in here so no dust and debris gets up here from the road. Lots of ventilation. This was the old battery section, so there's already some ventilation, which is nice. That, that multi-plus will stay nice and cool. I'll show you inside the Touch 50. The customer actually had an inverter that they'd put in this thing before. Didn't do it very well, it was a little unsafe, but it was just an, an inverter that, that actually run to an outlet right here. That's why this cutout is here. They're gonna put another outlet back in here and rewire it to our new system. And then this was where their inverter control went before. It's kind of behind the television, but this is this is where they wanted it. That's how they like to use it because they always pull the TV out when they're camping anyway. Touch 50 here, giving us all the information we need. Whether we're connected to shore power, which we're not right now, we're inverting. We're not running any AC loads in the coach. We're getting 743. This number was about 1200 a minute ago. 1200 out of 1600 is about 75% from those panels, which is pretty good considering it's 97 degrees. Tell them what we're using on the DC. Right now we don't have any battery percentage showing yet and that's just because the shunt hasn't calibrated because we just put it in. That'll calibrate once that these batteries get full. 50 amp rig. I'll show you the solar on the roof. If you come up here to the roof I'll show you the 1600 watts. Pretty coated up here. Pretty coated with panels. The customer had three of the Zant panels from the factory so that was 510 watts. They weren't really happy with how that was performing. So we removed the Zant panels and put eight of these ridge panels up. So now they're over 1600 watts, so almost more than three times, more than three times the solar. Two air conditioners, which meant there wasn't quite as much space for the panels, but they wanted six. We got here with eight panels and we were able to fit eight on for a good amount of power. Better get off this roof now. Thanks for watching. It's uh, Tom here with MYT Solar, another build here, and uh, let us know if we can help you with any of your solar needs.